I'm pretty excited today. Uh, I am excited because I just finished getting the second dose of my COVID-19 vaccine. I'm sitting here at the in the parking lot of the hospital having just finished my uh, second dose of, of the COVID-19 vaccine. I'm excited about that because it means so many things to me uh, and, and for my family and for our community. I'm glad that my wife has been fully vaccinated, that my father's been fully vaccinated, my brother and so many people in my family have been fully vaccinated. And that means that we're able to spend a little more time together than we have been able to in a long time. I'm excited that so many from church are being vaccinated, and that means we're going to be able to see each other more often now. I'm excited that our community is going to be able to start opening up more as more and more people are being vaccinated. It's very exciting. It's very exciting, all the potential that can happen from this vaccine. And I wasn't the only one excited either. When I showed up here to get my second dose of this vaccine, there was a pretty long line that I had to wait in. A lot of people were very excited to get the second dose of their vaccine. And it made me think about a time in the book of Acts that people were very excited, urgently getting something that they needed for their survival. In Acts chapter 2, Peter preaches the, the, the sermon on the day of Pentecost. And he's teaching people and, he, and he's talking to people about this, this Savior that they had heard about, heard about their whole lives. This, the Savior that they had read about in the Old Testament. The Savior that they had heard uh, uh, from the mouths of the prophets. And they started putting two and two together in this sermon. And they realized that they had killed the Son of God. Peter said, let all the house of Israel know for sure that, this, that God has made this Jesus whom you crucified both Lord and Christ. And it says they were cut to their hearts. They were cut to their hearts because they realized they crucified the Messiah. This person they were supposed to be looking for, they crucified. And their lives would never be the same. But Peter told, and they, they cried out, men and brethren, what shall we do? And Peter said, here it is. Here's the vaccine. Here's the antidote. Here is the life-saving message. Repent and be baptized. Repent and be baptized and, and get that gift of the Holy Spirit and, and be washed away. Have that, those sins washed away and let Jesus save your life. 5,000 people were so excited about what that meant that they were baptized that day. You know, there wasn't 5,000 people here at the hospital today, but I know thousands of people across the country and all over the world are getting this vaccine. Can you imagine if people only understood? Because this this vaccine is good, and it's going to protect me, and and maybe it'll maybe it'll help me to live a, a life of 80, 90, or 100 years. That's nothing compared to what the blood of Christ is going to do for me. If people could get excited about that, uh, and, and and urgently seek that, like they seek for this vaccine urgently seek that like the people in Acts chapter 2 did because they understood they cannot live another day without the blood of Christ. If I would have waited a week on this vaccine, it probably would have been okay. I can't wait a single day on my relationship with Christ. If your relationship with Christ is, is weak, if you need to be baptized, let us know. We want to help you. We want to help you reach that same excitement that those people in Acts chapter 2 had because you know you can't live without it. We want to help you in any way we can. Let us know we're here to help. I love you all. Have a great day.